Three Lives, Three Worlds, Lotus Steps Book 3. One Step for a Thousand Kulpas. Chapter 18. By Tang Chi. Immortal Attendant Xiang Jia is the leader of the Twelve Literary Attendants in Yuan Ji Palace. Since the return of the Dark Lord Qin Jiang, Immortal Attendant Xiang Jia has been sent out to lead two literary attendants and two martial attendants, staring at the demons together. Xiang Jia Immortal Attendant has a nickname, Sai Ergeo. Ergeo refers to the two divine kings, Qianlimu Gaoming and Shunfeng Ergeoju. His nickname was given to him by these two gods, which meant that he was good at discerning and hearing. They also admired him very much. If Xiang Jia wanted to find out about a certain god or demon, he would usually follow him for three to five months, and he would be able to find out all the information he wanted to find out. He had always been proud of this. However, Qin Yang was kicked out of his place. After keeping an eye on Qing Jiang for two years, I found out that his portable sword, the Western Emperor Blade, had supernatural powers. I have been tracing this line for two more years, but I still haven't figured out what that power is. Seeing that in another half month, he would be able to safely break his previous record due to his poor probing, Xiang Jia Immortal Server was under a lot of pressure. Fortunately, God has paid off. Recently, Xiang Jia Immortal Attendant finally made a breakthrough. This is thanks to Qing Jiang's recent marriage to his wife, and as a very traditional demon, he did not sleep in separate beds with her after marrying her. In general, here's the thing. Because Qin Jiang is a devil of caution, it is definitely not feasible to monitor him all the time. Therefore, in the past four years, Xiang Jia and the others have mostly monitored Qing Jiang's people to see if there is any unusual movement. And because high-ranking gods and demons are most alert when sleeping, they did not dare to wander near Qing Jiang after he fell asleep. But Qing Jiang's queen, Princess Sueyo, was different. She slept with Qin Jiang every night, so it was easy to find out that Qin Yang had to leave for half an hour in the middle of the night every day. Princess Sueyo's first reaction was that if Qin Jiang stayed up in the middle of the night, there was most likely someone outside. In fact, she can think about it. With Qing Xiang's identity, if she falls in love with another girl, she can just take her as the devil's concubine. There is no need to lie on her bed every day and sneak up behind her back to have private meetings with other girls in the middle of the night. Such a roundabout way. But Princess Sueyo is a relatively selfish person. She has no doubts about her own judgment, so she is very angry. Regardless of whether it is a man or a woman, once jealousy arises, they will do anything, and in order to catch an adulterer, a fool can turn into a detective without any guidance. Besides, Zueyo is not too stupid. Zueyo carefully touched for half a month and found out that Qin Yang had opened a small space in the stone forest in the garden, and the way to open the small space was Qing Jiang's handprint. Even Xiang Jia had to marvel afterwards that a person could develop such courage and wisdom in order to catch a traitor, and he was really very efficient in doing things. During that time, Princess Sueyo completed the work that only five of him and his subordinates could do. In half a month, Sueyo became familiar with the time points of Qing Jiang's departure and return, and the route he usually took. He figured out the location of the doorway of the small hidden space in the stone forest. He also obtained Cheng Zhang's fingerprint and successfully copied it. Reproduced. After that, she was ready to catch the rapist with high spirits. On the day she was going to catch the adulterer, Princess Sueyo told her personal maid about the incident and asked the maid to guard the garden for her. The maid was not as courageous as the princess. She was very frightened when she learned of the princess's plan. She was in panic all afternoon. She was discovered by Xiang Bing, who was watching the people around Qing Jiang, and reported it to Xiang Jia. Things happen naturally. Xiang Jia learned of Zueyo's plan. That night, he turned into a mosquito and followed Zueyo to the garden stone forest and entered the small space. After entering the small space, Xiang Jia saw that there was more than one floor in the space and speculated that this should be the place where Qing Jiang conducted secret affairs. Of course, Xiang Jia believed that Qing Jiang's secret was definitely not about coming to meet the girl. Xiang Jia actually wanted to go deeper. 
He intuitively felt that Ching Zhang's secret core should be at the innermost layer of the space, but Zueyo was too incompetent and was discovered by Qin Jiang on the first floor. There was nothing they could do. Go deeper. Fortunately, when Qin Yang came out, Xiang Jia had already hid far away. Qin Yang was unable to find him and only saw Princess Zueyo, who came to attack the army aggressively to accuse him. Qing Jiang's face was not very good, but he didn't say anything. He just held Zueyo's hand forcefully, lifted her onto his shoulders, and took her out. Because the space they were on looked like an alchemy room, the possibility of a man and woman having an affair here was really very small. Zueyo, who was here to catch an adulterer, was a little confused for a moment. It was rare that he didn't resist and let Qin Jiang obediently carry her on his back. Out! The door of the small space slammed down, the disturbed alchemy room returned to normal, and the alchemists began to work normally. Xiang Jia lay on a stove and observed for a long time, and then he was surprised to find that although this place looked similar to an alchemy room, it was not an alchemy room. The seven furnaces side by side were not alchemy furnaces, but furnaces for burning corpses, and the alchemists he thought were not highly skilled alchemists, but ordinary furnace workers. Their job is to burn the demon corpses handed out from the second level of space. Those demon corpses are also a bit strange. There are no external injuries on the corpses, and the cause of death cannot be seen, but the dead body and soul are scattered. Before the corpse is burned, it will occasionally move, as if a living person is sleeping in a sleep. The furnace workers all had no tongues and could not speak, so Xiang Jia did not get any more information. He originally wanted to go to the second floor to investigate, but the corpse transport passage was only allowed out and not in, and the boundary door on the second floor would only be opened when Qing Jian came, so he really couldn't find a suitable opportunity to get in. Every few days, demonic corpses would be passed out from the second floor, sometimes more, sometimes less, sometimes dozens, sometimes just one or two. Xiang Jia stayed here for half a month. He felt that if he continued to stay, he would not be able to find anything more and would only increase the danger. Therefore, when there were more demon corpses delivered on a certain day and the work of the furnace workers was heavier, he took a risk and stole a demon corpse and hid it in the Qianquan bag he carried with him. When Yi Qin Zhang came here again, he looked for an opportunity to sneak out. In the Jianxin Hall where UNG Palace discussed matters, Xiang Jia vividly told Lian Song what he saw. There are seven furnaces in the first level of space, and each furnace is looked after by two furnace workers. A demon corpse was handed out, starting from the first furnace, burning for an hour, switching to the next furnace, until the sixth furnace. The demon corpse was burned into a palm-sized black crystal block, and then the crystal block was placed at the end after six hours of calcination in a furnace. The crystal block was completely melted. It is worth mentioning that there was a bead in the seventh furnace. It was originally a clear pearl, but after the seventh furnace had enough energy to melt about a hundred demon corps, the bead will turn black and a demon envoy will come to get the bead. I don't know what was done with it, but when it comes back a day later, it will be a clear pearl again. Xiang Jia was so thoughtful that in order to make it easier for His Highness the Third Highness to understand, he even drew an exquisite picture of a corpse being burned by a furnace worker. Now he spread it out, and the picture was vivid and detailed. Even the little mosquito he turned into was attached to it. Each corner of each furnace is clearly drawn. This is my subordinate. He pointed it to Lian Song and explained, I lied here for three days. I didn't dare to fly around for fear of being discovered. He was also very strict at the same time, lie here. From a furnace man's point of view, one would think I was a stain. He further elaborated on his motivation for disguising stains. The stove workers who burn corpses don't like to be clean very much, and they won't wipe off stains when they see them. He then pointed to the spots on the stove and said, These are real stains. I try to make them as restored as possible. As he talked, he introduced these stains with great interest. This kind is smoke stain, which is lighter, but has a larger area. I don't know what it is, but the traces are heavier. I use different stains. Regarding the painting method, your highness, please take a look. 
Is your painting pretty good? Shuang He, who was sent by Zhu Tiai's tribe to listen, heard what Xiang Jia said and felt that this immortal servant was really sick. If the demon corpse he had stolen back was not placed in the center of Jian Exine Palace, he would have doubted his storyteller just now. The thrilling adventure in the demon palace that he mentioned in his tone of voice may not have any credibility as he copied it from some storybook. Also, aren't they talking about Qing Jiang? Why did this unreliable immortal servant actually discuss with them how to paint stains? What's even worse is that His Highness the Third Prince didn't seem to think there was anything wrong with it. He actually started appreciating it carefully with him and even made a few comments. Well, this method of breaking ink with water is pretty good. It's better than the one you used before. The queen returns to the palace with a decent picture. However, His Highness the Third Highness still had a sense of proportion and did not let the topic go too far. The next sentence straightened it out. As you painted, although the cleanliness of this small space is not decent, there is not a single mosquito. If you fly around rashly and are discovered by the furnace workers, you will probably arouse their suspicion. Xiang Jia nodded repeatedly. That's it. He drew a circle on the picture, so after my subordinates got familiar with this corpse melting room, they moved slowly. In the next ten days, from here, move got here. His Highness the Third Prince thought for a while and pointed at a few places on the map. Then here, here, and here should be the blind spots in your field of vision that you have not observed carefully. Xiang Jia immediately said, It is true that I have not observed these places carefully, but I have seen them. There is really nothing worthy of doubt. Shuangha listened to them analyze the mosquito's perspective for a long time and gradually wanted to sleep. Gugu had held this kind of meeting many times. As a divine envoy, of course he needed to attend, but he always fell asleep while listening. So the fact that he wanted to sleep at this time was not directed at Lian Song and his immortal attendants. He was really used to it. He thought idly that if Zhu Ti knew that Lian Song was looking for her, she might not have sent him here instead of Bo Rong. This is for everyone's benefit. And why did he suddenly mention Bai Rong? Because Boi Long is in heaven right now. Five days ago, after Zhu Ti left Chaoyang Valley with Lian Song, she did not return to Gugu, but came directly to Jichangshan. Yin Lin went back to Gugu yesterday, took the good virtue pot from Shui Yi, and said he wanted to send it to heaven. Zong Rong missed Zhu Ti and asked Yin Lin to take her with him, and Yin Lin agreed. Considering that Zong Rong's mana had not yet fully recovered, Yin Lin brought Shuang He with him, who had always been looking after Zong Rong. In the Shi Hall, when Lian Song sent someone to come, Zhu Ti Fong finished talking to Bian Rong. Zong Rong's mood was up and down, and she was a little tired. Zhu Ti arranged for her to rest in the inner room, while she talked about business with Yin Lin in the outer room. Hearing that Lian Song was looking for her for something, when he saw Shuang He staying aside like an idler, he assigned him to come over first to see what was going on. Lian Song was a little surprised when he saw Shuang He, but he didn't say much. He just said that since Zhu Tishan was busy, he would bother him to listen and tell her later. A kind-faced fairy who was waiting nearby immediately brought him a chair and served him tea. Shuangha thought they were very polite. Later, he thought it was very convenient for him to doze off on the chair that the fairy moved for him. He always dozed skillfully, and people who were not familiar with him would not even notice that he was dozing. Moreover, he is also very sensitive. As soon as Lian Song and Xiang Jia stopped talking, he woke up. Then he heard Lian Song ask him, did your envoy understand everything? He nodded calmly. Yeah, probably. His Highness the Third Highness had no doubts. The troubled envoy will tell Ayu this and give her a message. I will go to Taichan Palace first and ask her to come to Taichan Palace to find me after finishing her work. After saying that, he stood up. Shuangna was shocked for a moment. You, 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 you actually called her Ayu. Did you want to? He originally wanted to ask you if you remembered something. Suddenly realizing that this was not something he could say, he trembled and quickly changed his words. Do you want to go to heaven? His Highness the Third Prince looked at him and said calmly, We are in heaven now. His Highness the Third Highness is a prudent person. 
What Shuang he said just now made his highness feel that he might not be thinking very well. After thinking about it for a moment, he asked Shuang he inferences. Just now I asked you whether you think about what Xiang Jia and I discussed. I understand. Your answer is probably not to be modest, right? Shuang now was indeed not being modest about himself. He blushed and didn't want to admit it, but he was afraid of causing trouble. He nodded eagerly, yeah, and immediately added, but I understand half of it. His Highness the Third Highness was silent for a moment, then turned to tell Xiang Jia, I will go to Taichun Palace alone. You go with Shuang and Shinjun to Shi Palace to report what happened just now to Zhu Ti God, and then ask her to come to Taichun Palace after finishing the work. Meet me. After giving these instructions, His Highness the Third Prince thought for a while, looked at Shuang He again, and looked at him for a moment. I have a question to ask your envoy, and please give me your advice. Shuang He was still trying to regain his respect. I just didn't listen well. When he heard Lian Song say this, he was a little confused. What's the problem? Tell me. His Highness the Third Highness asked, Should God Zhu Ti like the face of Zhu Encher very much, right? Xiang Jia glanced at Lian Song. Based on his understanding of His Highness, these words should be mocking Shuang He for being transformed into a divine messenger because of his good looks. What a coincidence, he felt the same way. But then, his Highness the Third Prince asked Shuang He a rather serious question. Speaking of which, if God Zhu Ti chooses the envoy, can she choose it as long as she likes it, or does it require some other opportunity? Without waiting for Shuang He to answer this serious question, he then asked, You divine envoys all have very different looks and styles. Which of you looks does Eu like the most? But this question didn't seem to be that serious. At this time, even Xiang Jia was a little confused whether His Highness was mocking or sincerely asking for advice. Fortunately, Shuang He was a straight-minded person and didn't think too much. He felt that Lian Song was sincerely asking him how Zhu Ti enlightened the divine envoy. For the four of us divine envoys, God gave us instructions, and then she came out to find us and enlightened us. She cannot enlighten the divine envoys as she likes. Of course, we are all very fond of her. I like it, Shuangta replied. But when it comes to face, he was very concerned about this matter, and said reluctantly, she loves Bo Rong's face the most. For more than 300,000 years, what she likes and misses the most is Bo Rong. He said he gritted his teeth. When the Third Highness heard this, he slightly raised his slender eyebrows and said, Is that Bo Rong very handsome? Shuang He's face was expressionless. She is quite charming, with watery eyes and a charming voice. The Third Prince could hardly control his expression. She likes such a man? Shuang was shocked. What are you thinking? Zomrong is a woman. But this didn't seem to be a happy answer. His Highness was quiet for a while before asking again. You mean, in the past 300,000 years, the person she misses and loves the most is a woman? Shuang He said, yeah. He glanced at the young man beside him and thought that Yin Lin had said that the one he loved and missed the most was actually the water god. However, he had never seen his majesty caring about the water god, so he was not lying. He added, that's what I saw anyway. The third highness rubbed his forehead. Shuang He asked him guiltily, what's wrong with you? His highness the third shook his head, it's okay. He said it was okay, but when he left the Jianxin palace, he held on to the door frame. Zhu Ti had no idea what Shuang He had arranged for her in front of Lian Song. At this moment, she was sitting in the Shi Palace listening to Yin Lin and her report on the situation of the Blue Bird tribe in Chaoyang Valley after they left. Lian Song told her that day that he had almost taken care of the Wanner matter. Although she didn't ask much at that time, thinking about it afterwards, she was still a little worried, so when she left Chaoyang Valley, she pretended that she needed to send Yin Lin back to Gugu, and she made a false move and kept him to see if the matter with Wanner was over. Handled appropriately. When Yin Lin received this task, he felt that his lord's concern for the third highness of the Tiang clan was completely unnecessary. This was what he was thinking at this time. The third prince is a man who can count 10,000 steps if he takes one step. Yin Lin commented. 
On the citron table in front of Zhu Ti was a pot of lily flowers that didn't look very lively at first glance. That was exactly what lily flowers looked like. While Zhu Ti was nourishing the flower with her own blood, she casually said, Oh, what should I say? In Lin Dao, that night in the Xingling Cave, when the third prince took you to heal your wounds, he asked me to take the unconscious Lady Mishia out of the cave. At that time, he gave me a human skin mask and asked me to put it on and use that face to take Lady Mishia out and send her to the head of the guards in Lutai Palace. And the human skin mask is made after the face of a young guard in Lutai Palace. Zhu Ti finally raised her head from Zong Rong's body, her eyes showing confusion. Xiao San Ling, what is he? Yin Lin said, So the third prince is a person who takes one step and counts 10,000 steps. He changed the subject and mentioned another matter. Your Majesty also knows that the rumors about the third prince and Lady Mishia in Chaoyang Valley were originally it was already making a big fuss. After Ms. Mishia woke up, she took even more risks, further fueling the rumors. With her fueling, almost all the people in the city thought that she and the third prince had spent the night in the Star Order cave. And Zhao Zhao, according to the ancestral law of the Bluebird clan, a wife can only be married to one husband. If the king loses his virginity to a man outside of marriage, he will be unworthy of his position and cannot be a king again. Lady Misya's rival seized on her and forced her to she gave way. He paused with an unknown smile on his face, then Misya went to see the third prince and begged him to help her. Zhu Ti frowned slightly. How does she want Xiao Sanling to help her? Grant her the title of concubine. Yin Lin said calmly, she promised the third prince that once she gets over this difficulty, she will return the title of concubine to the third prince. After saying this, Yin Lin briefly commented, but once the matter is accomplished, only she will know whether she will return the concubine's position. Zhu Ti's face darkened, absurd. Yin Lin also nodded, it is indeed ridiculous. He talked about the previous situation, according to Shui Yi's exploration, the third prince went to study at Yuanjun Dumu for a while when he was young. At that time, Yuanjun sent his eldest disciple Ling the Holy Lady Ji took care of the third prince, and Ling Ji treated the third prince very well. It is said that the third prince was extremely arrogant when he was young, and his eyes were arrogant. However, although such a third prince only studied there and did not become a disciple of Yuan Jun, he still I would like to call Saint Ling by my senior sister. It shows that the friendship between the two is really good. Yin Lin paused for a moment. This Saint Ling Bai is the biological mother of Lady Mishia. When Saint Lady Ling Bai passed away, she entrusted Mishia to the third prince, so the third prince has always taken good care of Mishia. Mishia probably knew that for her mother's sake, the third prince would never fail to save her, so she directed and acted in this play, forcing herself to this point. After analyzing Mi Xia's starting point, Yin Lin, I also admire her very much. She is really cruel to herself. Zhu Ti lowered her eyes and tapped the edge of the table with her fingers. She is indeed cruel to herself. If Xiao San Lang doesn't help her, not only will her reputation be ruined, but she will also lose her throne. And I heard that she had done something wanton in order to take back the royal power. The aristocratic families in the Killing Clan have made many enemies. If she loses her royal power, those aristocratic families will definitely take extremely cruel revenge on her. And when she falls to that point, even if Xiao San Lang can protect her for a while, he will not be able to protect her for the rest of her life. So this once, Xiao San Lang either has to help her or watch her die. At this point, Zhu Ti pursed her lips straight and frowned, showing an extremely unhappy expression. She is he's betting on Kozaburo's compassion, this lunatic. Yin Lin agreed. Your majesty is right. She is indeed betting on the compassion of the third prince, and she is also forcing the third prince. Moreover, it seems that this matter is not resolved, either marrying Lady Mishia or let her fall into a dead end. But the third prince has never been a person who can be controlled by others. Zhu Ti looked up at him. A faint smile appeared on Yin Lin's always serious face. Didn't I just say that after we left the Xingling cave, 
The third prince gave me a mask and asked me to pretend to be a palace guard. The guard's face sent Miss Misia out. Zhu Ti thought for a moment, then her eyebrows suddenly moved. Could it be? Yin nodded. Your majesty must have guessed it. This matter is actually very simple to say. The difficulty lies in planning it in advance. To plan ahead, you must calculate every move accurately. Therefore, the third prince is a calculating person. Yin Lin remembered the scene he accidentally bumped into outside the boundary of Fulan Hall on the day when the large army was leaving Chaoyang Valley. Mi Xia ignored the majesty of the king and stumbled all the way to Fulan Palace. Her not-so-smart personal aide followed a few steps behind and warned her worriedly, Envy June, Envy June, don't do this. Mi Xia paid no attention to it and went to take pictures of the barrier outside Fulan Hall. Without taking two shots, Lian Song opened the Vermilion Palace door. Seeing Lian Song, Mi Xia's eyes immediately turned red. It took him a long time to speak out, but his voice was extremely hoarse. How could you do this to me? Yin Lin had just returned from outside the palace, so he probably knew what she was talking about. The day before yesterday, there were rumors circulating in the royal city that the king was married to the third prince of the Tian clan, but early this morning, it had turned into a rumor about what happened to the king and the same inner palace guard. Various rumors generally expressed this idea, saying that after the third prince and Wang Jun entered the Star Order cave that day, an inner palace guard was extremely worried about Wang Jun and rushed to the entrance of the cave, but was also led in by the holy cave. The little guard walked around in the cave and found Wang Jun who had been separated from the third prince. He stayed with Wang Jun for a night in the realm of love and then left the holy cave with Wang Jun who was unconscious. The third prince left the holy cave alone a few days later. So the current rumor is that it was actually the little guard and their king who spent one night as husband and wife in the state of love. Of course the citizens felt that this gap was huge, but when they thought about it, this little guard could actually enter the holy cave, which showed that he was also a person selected by the holy cave. Everyone's imagination is indeed very rich. They made up a coherent story for this matter, saying that it should be Xing Dong who felt that the third prince and the young guard were destined to be their king, and they could both be their king's husband. But the king can only marry one king, so the holy cave needs to test who has a deeper fate with their king, so they are included in the cave. This gave it a try, and it turned out that the little guard was more closely related to their king. Everyone believed in the whole story that was made up to spread rumors, and they all felt that since this was the meaning of the holy cave, there was nothing unacceptable about it. But day by day and night by day, the rumor that Misia and the little guard were destined to be the true match became mainstream. The reason why this rumor can defeat the rumors about Misia and the third prince is that the latter has no evidence and relies only on the imagination and word of mouth of the citizens, the former has a convincing and ironclad evidence. As Mi Xia and Xiao Xiao rumors about the guards were circulating among the city residents, and there were also several image recording mirrors, which clearly recorded the image of the little inner palace guard walking out of the entrance of the Star Order cave, with Mi Xia in his arms. The little guard is also very beautiful, so this scene looks quite beautiful. The citizens saw it and thought it was very classic. And this classic scene is said to have been saved by a few young men and women who happened to be playing near the holy cave at that time. Of course, Yin Lin didn't believe that when he took Mia Xia out, there were really a few young men and women who happened to be playing nearby and accidentally saved that scene. Of course, it could only be specially saved by the people arranged by Lian Song in advance. In this way, the game will naturally be broken. This matter is no longer related to the third prince of the celestial clan and Mi Xia, as long as she complies with public opinion and marries the little guard in the inner palace, she will naturally be able to relieve her difficulties and keep the throne. But Lian Song's method of breaking the situation was tantamount to a fatal blow to Mi Xia, so Yin Lin could quite understand why she would come to Lian Song's house so early in the morning regardless of dignity and cry to ask Lian Song why she was like this. To her, Mi Xia cried till she was full of tears, but Lian Song's expression was extremely cold. The water god is charming and charming. 
Although he has a cold and handsome face, his temperament is not too cold. This is Ian Lin's view of Lian Song, so when he saw Lian Song showing such a cold expression, he was a little surprised. Although Lian Song's expression was cold, his voice was gentle. I remember you told me at that time that you can't lose this throne. In order to keep the throne, you can pay any price. Now it's just marriage. Besides, I've checked, then although the young guard comes from a poor family and his background is not obvious, his character is as good as Orchid. He has always liked you very much and will definitely treat you well after marrying you. Aren't you willing to do this too? Mi Xia choked with sobs. I know that the guards, the image storage mirror, and those rumors were all arranged by you. She suddenly covered her face with her hands and said in a hoarse voice, Since you arranged all this, then you should know. Lian Song originally lowered his eyes, but now he raised his eyes and interrupted her, asking her coldly, What should I know? Do you know that you have been plotting against me? Mi Xia bit her lip hard, as if she couldn't accept the statement, and her voice suddenly became sharp. Then it's obvious. It's obvious that I like it. You should know that I have always liked it. Before he could finish his words, he was interrupted again by Lian Song. Don't go crazy anymore. Mi Xia was stunned for a long time, and her lips trembled. I, I will not marry him. Either you save me, or I become a prisoner of those aristocratic families and be tortured to death by them. There was life in her eyes. The light came out, the light was blazing and crazy. You may not save me, but I want you to never forget that it was your refusal to save me that made me. Lian Song suddenly laughed. Do you think I have a soft heart? There was a hint of sarcasm in his cool voice. Do you think I saved you and took care of you not only because of your mother, but also because of your mother? Because you are pitiful? So you push yourself into a desperate situation. You think you are so pitiful. Of course I will relent again, right? Mia Xia was stunned again. Lian Song shook his head. It seems so. He sighed softly, little girl. You have a big misunderstanding of me. It was a very gentle tone, but hearing it made people feel cold all over. Looking after you is the friendship your mother showed me back then, and it is worth the exchange for. My dedicated care of you. But did I say that I no longer owe your mother? So what do you choose next, and what does it have to do with me? Woolen cloth. Mi Xia froze, and for a long time, she muttered, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. She collapsed on the ground, I. Lian Song looked at her for a long time, and finally, the hand holding the fan moved downwards. A jade bottle appeared in front of her. Mi Xia looked up, with a confused look on his face. The young man was still calm. There is a pill in this jade bottle, called Yin Yan Shao. Your mother had a longing for your father, and her persistence ruined her life. Your mother's master, Domu Yuanjun, she the old man has always felt sorry for this, so after your mother died, she refined this idea to eliminate a person's obsession. You have managed the Bluebird tribe well. As a king, you are qualified. One thought of me can take you a long way. Mi Xia held the bottle, and when she lowered her head, tears fell to the ground. In the end, she seemed to be in great pain and cried out, Your Highness is really cruel. If you fall in love with someone in the future, but she gave you a bottle of one thought elimination, what do you think? Do you hate it? She closed her eyes, I hate it now. But the young man just said calmly, You can also choose not to eat and continue to go crazy. After saying this, he did not look at me Xia anymore, turned around and entered the barrier. No matter how miserably Mi Xia cried behind him, never looked back. Yin Lin didn't know if Mi Xia had taken a breath, but he heard that several of Mi Xia's close ministers had been persuading her to marry the little guard. When he left the Blue Bird clan two days ago, Mi Xia had already agreed. In the past few days, Yin Lin would occasionally think of what he would do when Mi Xia asked Lian Song that day. If he fell in love with someone in the future and she handed him a bottle of one thought elimination, what would he do? Would he hate her? At that time, Lian Song did not give an answer. In fact, 30,000 years ago, what Su Ti did to Lian Song was not just to give him a bottle to eliminate his thoughts. Yin Lin also wanted to know if Lian Song knew all this, would he hate it? Just as he was slightly distracted, there was suddenly a burst of hurried footsteps outside the hall. 
The Emperor of Xiaoyang, the Emperor of Xiaoyang of the Donghua Purple Mansion, who was the supreme saint of the eight desolations in the Taichan Palace and saved the world, although he looked like a handsome young man, was actually already 380,000 years old. The emperor, who has lived for more than 300,000 years, has actually lost count of how many times he has been in solitary confinement on this long journey to immortality. However, the emperor still remembered that since he came of age at 20,000 years old, no one has dared to disturb him during his retreat, let alone demolishing his retreat and forcing him to leave the retreat early. He never dreamed that such a magical thing would happen. So when it really happened, he was a little confused. According to Chon Lin, in fact, when the third prince returned to Juchangshan a few days ago, he wanted to demolish the Yangshu Pavilion and force him to come out of seclusion. He persuaded him to stop it after hard talk. Chong Lin said quietly, the reason he gave at that time was that the emperor was leaving seclusion in the next few days, so he might as well wait. The third prince also agreed at the time, but he did not expect that the 24 civil and military servants under him were so efficient. Within two days, they made a major breakthrough in the investigation of the demon clan. Therefore, the third prince could not wait for several days. Still demolished Yangshij. The emperor remembered that a few years ago, Tianjun would occasionally complain to him about his young son being naughty and difficult to discipline. At that time, he did not take it seriously and always advised Tianjun to be gentle. The emperor felt that he had received retribution today. After the emperor came back to his senses, he actually wanted to deal with the third prince who demolished his Yangshu pavilion, but the important clues about the demons that Song Exian had discovered were indeed very important. Just when he was undecided whether to beat Lian Song first, and then discuss the demons with him, or to discuss important matters first and then beat him, God Zhu Ti, who originally thought it would take three years to wake up, actually appeared at the gate of Taichan Palace. The matter of beating Lian Song could only be left alone. Zhu Ti came to discuss with him the great catastrophe of heaven and earth in three years' time. She spoke in detail about that calamity, including her prediction that Qing Jiang was the instigator and that the evil power of the Western Emperor's blade would be the key to his subversion of the Eight Desolations. But she still had reservations, such as about her own fate. She didn't mention that she might be sacrificed for the tribulation. The Emperor just did not know. Zhu Ti has absorbed part of the power of the Western Emperor's blade in her body and needs the Emperor's help to extract it. For the Emperor, this was also his first real contact with this evil power. Even if he were to drain out all the evil forces in Zhu Ti's body at once, it would be unrealistic. But by channeling a little every day for half a month and a month, he felt that it would be better to completely separate these evil forces from the body of the God of Light. No problem. On the day he met Zhu Ti, the emperor used the Shanda pot as a vessel to help Zhu Ti draw out some of the evil power of the Western Emperor Blade. After Kuoku tempered this small amount of evil power, he discovered that the essence of this power was actually the five elements of wind, fire, water, light, and earth. Therefore, the emperor had to agree with Zhu Ti that this power came from the creation of Batamahua. Inference Although the emperor is not the god of creation, he still understands some basic theories of creation. He knows that both god Pengu and god Father rely on the power of the five elements to create the world, and the source of the power of the five elements is the creation bowl. In this way, Qin Zhang disappeared for no reason 240,000 years ago. It is indeed very possible that he broke into the void realm of Father God to steal flowers and was suppressed by Father God. The in-death conversation between the emperor and the ancestor god about the power of the western emperor blade took place the next day. I originally thought that it was just him and Lian Song who had been watching the demons in the past four years. Since Zhu Ti and her envoys had also been paying attention to Qing Jiang, the emperor felt that it was indeed time to summarize the information from everyone's investigation and make a plan together. The next step is now. Therefore, in addition to him and Zhu Ti Lian Song, the four divine envoys from Gu Gui also came to the C. William Hall. When the emperor saw that there were five people present at Gu Gu's side, there were only two people including him and Lian Song, so he asked Lian Song to call Xiangjia and Tianbu. 
At the same time, he asked Chong Lin to also attend, and Aki, who was keeping a book in the library and was confused and didn't know anything, also called over. Xiangjia was still frowning because Xuanga was actually able to participate in this meeting. When Suji saluted and entered with a masked face, Xiangjia felt that he was not qualified to frown. At the same time, he was not sure about the final direction of this meeting. He fong, a little doubt and worry arose. The demon corpse that Xiangjia had brought back to the sky with great effort was placed in the middle of the Sewuliang Hall. The emperor sat at the top, and the others sat one after another. Immortal Su Ji, who was sitting at the bottom on the right, was very excited. More than two months ago, he had gossiped about Zhu Ti at Qingjiang's wedding banquet with His Highness the Third Prince and His Royal Highness. Unexpectedly, he would be able to see the living god Zhu Ti today and discuss how to deal with Qingjiang with this venerable god. Although I was so excited about what happened, I couldn't help but feel magical. Suji didn't quite understand what everyone was talking about, and he couldn't participate in the discussion. The only thing he understood and had some doubts about was that according to etiquette, Goddess Suri and her four envoys were distant guests and should sit on the left side of the emperor's head, while His Highness the Third Prince should sit on the right side with him. That's right, but why did His Highness the Third Highness sit together with God Zuti, and the two of them shared a table, but the two envoys of God Zuti were squeezed to sit on his side. Suji was thinking about all this while listening to the emperor talking to His Highness the Third Highness as if he were listening to a book from heaven. The emperor asked something, but Suji didn't pay much attention. When he was calming down, he only heard His Highness the Third Prince say back to the emperor, when you guided Eu to the power of the Western Emperor Blade, I already investigated it. The folded fan was slightly raised. Fan Duan pointed at the demon corpse in the hall. The demon lord leads the 17th army, and this is a low-level general in the 13th army under Qing Jiang. What's strange is that the sword of the Western Emperor is also hovering in his body. Power. He paused. An ordinary demon general can actually store the power of the Nashi Emperor's blade in his body, but it is not an ordinary thing. But after all, he is not the body of the God of Light. It is estimated that it will be difficult to withstand this power, so the soul exploded and died. As soon as these words came to the ground, everyone in the palace looked surprised. The emperor was still calm and said, What are your speculations? Tell me. Lian Song glanced at Zhu Ti. There is indeed a guess. He tapped his finger on the table. Eu said that in her precognitive dream, she saw Qing Jiang pull out the Western Emperor Blade and fight with the demon around him. The envoy said that the power on the sword and the power in his body have the same source, which will be the key to changing the pattern of heaven and earth and making the demon clan the leader of the four clans. The young man tapped his fingers and said calmly, Now we know that the power on the sword is the power of the creation bowl. It is indeed unparalleled. But I am thinking, even if Qin Zhang is carrying three pieces with the power of Batamahua, it seems difficult for him alone to overthrow Bo Huang and take the position of the leader of the four clans. After all, the power of one person is limited. However, if there is a powerful demon army to support him, driving, that's a big difference. The movement of his hand stopped. If I were Qing Jiang, I might use the power of Batamahua to temper a powerful demon army and use this to stir up the storm in the eight wastelands. And combined with the small space that Xiangjia discovered and the demonic corpse, he smiled. I think maybe Qin Zhang and I did think about it together. This is the reason why the emperor likes to leave it to Yuanji Palace when things get difficult. The third highness of the Tian clan is very perceptive and quick thinking, and his perspective on things is always bold and novel yet prudent and reliable. With him around, the emperor feels that he can save a lot of brain power. After His Highness the Third Prince finished his speculation, the entire hall fell silent. Except for the two revered gods, everyone was shocked. It was still the emperor who was the first to break the silence. This is indeed a possible direction. He held the teacup and thought for a moment, and then added, Batamahua flowers are born with bad breath. In fact, they are only suitable for creation of the world and cultivation with Batamahua. 
gained powerful power, but his mind was easily contaminated by the evil breath carried by this flower. However, Qin Zhang originally had the heart to conquer the eight wastelands. After refining the Patumo flower for his own use, his mind was contaminated by the evil breath and further expanded. It makes sense to have the ambition to conquer the eight wastelands. Under this kind of ambition, it is quite natural to have the idea of arming a demon army with the power of Batamahua. While the emperor was talking, Zhu Ti poured herself a cup of tea, took a sip, but felt the tea was cold, frowned unconsciously, and put the cup down. The cup that was put down was taken away by the young man beside him in the next moment. His white jade-like fingers grasped the body of the white jade cup. In an instant, the agate-like tea soup was filled with steam. His Highness the Third Highness focused his gaze upward, and while listening to the Emperor's words, he pushed the cup back to Zhu Ti. Zhu Ti glanced at him, curled her lips slightly, held the cup, and drank tea one sip at a time. While Zhu Ti was drinking tea, His Highness the Third Prince picked out a piece of jujube cake from the cake plate in front of him and placed it on the small porcelain plate in front of Zhu Ti. A set of movements seems casual, but also reveals carefulness. The emperor sat high, and the small movements between the two did not escape his eyes. Although he was not familiar with Feng Yu, he knew that the relationship between the two should be very close when he saw this. The emperor was stunned for a moment, and then his eyes fell on Yin Lin, who was sitting opposite Zhu Ti. Yin Lin noticed the emperor's gaze. When he looked up, he saw the emperor glance at Zhu Ti and Lian Song opposite him. He understood what the emperor meant and shook his head with a wry smile. The emperor then understood that these two people probably had not recovered their memories. They had not recovered their memories, but they still got together and became so close. The emperor was speechless for a moment. Zhu Ti didn't notice the exchange of looks between the emperor and Yin Lin. She drank half a cup of tea and listened to the emperor's words. She naturally added some knowledge points that she felt might not be clear to everyone here, Bo Tu Mo, the flower is also known as the flower of immortality. Those who can live with the Batumo flower cannot be killed. That day, Father God chose to suppress Qin Jiang instead of killing him. It was probably because he swallowed the three-petaled Batumo flower. Flower, but by chance, his physique was able to withstand the flower and grow with it, so Father God only suppressed him but failed to kill him. She frowned lightly and speculated slowly, Perhaps, in the long years of more than 200,000 years, Qin Jiang finally refined the flower and used its power for himself, so in the end he was able to break through the Father God to suppress the enemy. He escaped from the Great Suppression Formation. But as Kosaburo said, even if Qin Zhang's power is boundless, it would be very difficult for him to overthrow the Eight Desolations with his own strength. She looked at the Emperor on the high seat, just like back then, Lord Donghua, you were already the supreme of the Eight Desolations, but you still needed to train the army of the gods with the Qianyuan formation in order to suppress the rebellious god Fu Ying and quell the chaos of the gods. Then, after the demons cracked the Qianyuan formation, you need to use Xiaowan's mustard seeds and Xiumi formation to train the army of the gods to fight against the powerful demons. Now the gods can stand at the top of the four tribes because of one thing. An invincible iron army has an unbreakable mustard seed sumaru formation, right? The emperor raised his eyebrows slightly. God Zhu Ti has only been awake for a few months, and he has done a good job in making up the old history of the new god era. After saying this, he glanced at the demon corpse placed below. Maybe the three-petal pot-shaped flower has been completely refined by Qing Jiang and has become his power. It can be used by him, but obviously, he has not yet tried to use this power to arm an entire army. But, Emperor, he frowned, but before he could finish his words, his expression became a little solemn. Because the standards of this meeting were so high, Shuang he rarely fell asleep, but even if he listened carefully all the way, he still didn't understand it as if he was listening to a book from heaven. He had no concept of etiquette and rules, so he just asked if he didn't understand. Seeing that the emperor stopped talking, everyone was silent and heavy. He raised his hand faintly. I have a question to ask. The emperor just said, but, but what? Before the emperor could react, 
Zhu Ti spoke indulgently. She explained gently to Shuang Shuang, under normal circumstances, the creatures of the four races who absorb the power of the alms bowl and rub flowers with their own bodies should be as good as the ones on the ground. This demon general usually disperses his soul and dies. But it is known that Qin Yang is a person who can be accompanied by Batamahua. Once the secret of his body is cracked and the key to the companionship of Batamahua is found, many transformations can be made. But by rubbing the accompanying bodies with the Batu and transferring the power of the Western Emperor Blade to these accompanying bodies, Qin Zhang can forge an immortal iron army. She paused. Dong Hua Jun's the meaning should be that although judging from the state of the demon corpse on the ground, Qin Jiang has not yet found a way to safely transfer the power of the Western Emperor's Blade to his demon general. But once he is allowed to do this, let him have it. With an immortal army, it will be a matter of time before the mustard seed Sumeru formation is broken, and by then, the gods will be in great danger. After listening to Zhu Tiai's explanation, Shuang He's expression immediately became as heavy as everyone else's. In the heavy silence, Lian Song suddenly said, It seems that the best way to prevent this catastrophe is to kill Qing Jiang before he finds a way to successfully transfer the power of Bo to Emohua. He spoke crisply and tapped the end of the Jenny fan with his slender fingers. It's just that Qing Jiang cannot be killed. Maybe we can only follow what Father God did back then and seal it. Everyone was stunned for a moment. Zhu Ti followed his train of thought and reminded him softly, but the Qing Jiang of today is no longer the Qing Jiang of that day. He has the power of three petaled bowls to rub flower petals, which is equivalent to the power of three mortals, and the ordinary magic circle it doesn't trap him. The Third Highness was not embarrassed and looked at her with a smile. Have you forgotten that the combined power of your soul and mine can contain and dissipate part of the power of the Western Emperor's Blade? He put forward a hypothesis. Logically speaking, the power of the Western Emperor's Blade the power is the power of the bowl-shaped flower that can be used by Qing Jiang after being tempered. The essence of this power is the five elements, but after being tempered by him, the evil breath is strong. So I think the combined power of your and my soul can could it be that the power of restraint and dissolution of part of the Western Emperor's Blade is because the power of the five elements of good can eliminate the power of the five elements of evil. Zhu Ti's eyebrows twitched and she suddenly said, This makes sense. Her mind also moved quickly and she was indeed a powerful person who was good at creating space magic circles. She immediately had an idea. To deal with Qing Jiang. In the final analysis, it is to deal with the tempered power of the creation Batamahua. Since the positive power of the five elements can dispel the power of the Batamahua carried by Qing Zhang, then set up a space array and a suppression array. By fusing the power of the five natural gods and blessing the magic circle, perhaps we can seal Qing Zhang. She raised her head and looked at the emperor on the high seat. What do you think, Mr. Dong Hua? Do you have any other ideas? The emperor had no other ideas. He just felt that it was really pleasant to discuss matters with smart people. At least it was much more pleasant than discussing matters with Tianjun and the group of gods below him in the Lingxiao Palace. This was why Qin Zhang did not want to deal with it for the time being. A reason why Lingxiao Palace discussed with Tianjun. The emperor leaned on his seat and replied to Zidi easily. Lian Song's hypothesis is reasonable, and your method is not bad. It is just that it is more troublesome to obtain the power of the Earth Mother and the Lord of the Wind. However, Muwa is sleeping in foam in the western wilderness. Jiyuman Mountain, the power of her soul, should also be there. As for the Lord of Wind, Sergia, he paused. It is said that he also fell asleep, but no one knows where he slept. But Sergia, also you have a good relationship. Maybe you know where he is? Just find him and get the power of the soul. Oh, he seemed to suddenly think of it. Should we also build a container? The shand pot is a good thing. Magic weapon, but its capacity is limited. It is not enough to contain the power of the five gods of nature. Before getting the power of the five gods of nature, perhaps you should build a container first. This kind of power has a place to store it. After thinking for a while, he finally added, you need to stay with me these days to draw out the power of the Western Emperor's blade from your body. Let Lien. 
Song handle the matter of making the container. Now, just type out the container and then talk about anything else. The emperor's proposals are of course high-minded, and the emperor's arrangements are of course also superb arrangements, and no one has any objections. In less than an hour, this important meeting involving the danger of the world and the world, which would take ten and a half days to reach the Lingxiao Palace, was over. The emperor was very pleased and left after the meeting. Everyone also stood up. Suji noticed that His Highness the Third Highness stretched out his hand to help God Zhu Ti when he stood up. That is not the way to support a person who has difficulty moving. Furthermore, although God Zhu Ti looked a little pale, he was in good spirits when discussing matters with them and did not look like he was ill and had difficulty moving. His Highness the Third Highness raised his hand to help her, which was more like a subconscious gesture of intimacy, and God Sudi cooperated by placing his hand on His Highness's palm and stood up with the help of his strength. Both of them looked normal, as if this was a very natural thing. Suji's mouth couldn't help but open wide. Suji is also a gossip, and of course he still remembers the uproar that Zhu Ti just woke up a few months ago and sent Shui Yi, Shuang, and two divine envoys to visit Jichangshan, which caused an uproar among the supporters of His Highness the Third Highness. Originally, the supporters of the Third Highness were only divided into two factions, the Third Highness John alone, and the Third Highness John and Chang'e. After that, a new faction was born among them, the Third Highness John and his followers, Goddess City. When Su Ji first heard about the school, he felt that the majestic Nine Heavens could no longer accommodate the delusions of these little fairies. At this moment, I couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva, thinking of an old saying, how bold a person is, how productive the land is. Looking at the backs of His Highness the Third Highness and God Zhu Ti as they left together, Su Ji admired those little fairies. At the same time, he also admired His Highness the Third Highness a little. End of chapter 18, book 3